Welcome back, everyone, to Badwick Drama News. I'm your host, Badwick, and I'm here making the news simple just like you. So for today's episode, we have three news stories for you today. One of them, of course, is about Hassan Piker, because like I said in a previous video, I'm going to be talking about this guy a lot because I don't like him. However, I want to address a big L I took in my last two videos, which was my audio. Now, a lot of people commented about it, how the audio was trash and so on and so forth. And it was, to be honest. And I found out the reason for it, and it was because I was recording my audio through my webcam rather than my microphone you see right here. Now, that's a big L on my part with my editing and all that. So if you're a YouTuber, always double check your editing. Don't just go ahead and hit upload right away like I did. Big L on my part, but once again, I appreciate the criticism. I never take offense to it, and it's the only way I can honestly improve the channel and make the content better for you guys. For those who subscribed and like, thank you so much. For those joining us today, if you enjoy what you see, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more, and comment down below your opinions of the stories we are talking about today, and let us just move on with the content. So our first story of the night, we're going to be talking about Hassan Piker because I don't want to tease you guys. I want to get right into this situation. So we all know about Hassan's bad take about how he claims that streaming is more soul crushing than working a regular job. Now, this has caused some backlash in the community. A lot of people are reacting to it. A lot of people are saying Hassan took the L on this. However, we are now having larger streamers and creators react to this. And one of those creators is XQC. And let's show the clip of him reacting to it. Yes, a real job can be gruesome. A real job can make you very tired. But a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you. You know what I mean? Oh, try a sales job. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Yo, yo, how about I match his salary for a month and he gets a sales job? Oof. In the same way oh, that nah. nine Hold hours on. of streaming absolutely will. So as you can see from XQC's reaction to Hassan Piker's terrible take, he makes fun of him saying how about Hassan Piker gets a sales job for a month and XQC manages his channel. Now, Hassan Piker did not like XQC's take on this and accuses him of drama baiting. And I'm going to show you guys a clip and Hassan's response to this whole situation. Maybe talk to XQC. He doesn't give a shit, dog. What are you talking about? XQC literally is just looking to farm drama. He's trying to do the fuck Hassan shit again and again and again and again and again. That's it. What, what, what conversation could I have with him? Get the fuck out of here. It's it's literally, it is straight up drama bait. And I'm telling you, the reason why he did it is because someone sent it to him, probably a Destiny fan in his community sent it to him and was like, this is a great, look how fucking stupid uh, Hassan looks here in this clip. He knows, he knows what my actual fucking position is. This motherfucker stayed at my house with his ex-girlfriend who they fucking had like a, like a fake divorce over, okay? He knows what the fuck I believe. It's bullshit. It's extra bullshit that he still operates like this, okay? So as you can see from Hassan Piker's response to this, he is salty. He is mad. You can see it in his face. But this is funny to me because then he continues to accuse XQC of drama baiting, which is stupid because everybody has been talking about Hassan Piker's take in this situation because it is such an out-of-touch take from such a privileged streamer that is why people are talking about it and xqc even made the joke that hassan should go work sales for a month and he would manage his channel hassan did not like that response because he gets salty enough to bring up xqc's relationship problems he accuses him of jumping on the hassan piker hate trade claiming that he probably only did this because of a destiny fan which is funny hassan piker just needs to take the out and also I love in these situations because you can see Hassan Piker's true colors and his hypocrisies. He goes on all the time about how he doesn't care what people say on the internet. He doesn't care about people's opinions. But you can obviously see he doesn't care about random Twitter users. He cares when mainstream creators start to call him out, which we have been seeing more and more. We have XQC. We have Willie Mack calling this guy out, and he's getting rattled by it. Hassan could have easily just saved this whole situation by simply saying sorry 
it's a bad take of mine. And move on. The fact that he is doubling down, he is going after people that criticize him, is only going to make this situation worse. And I plan to cover every bit of it. I want to know your guys' thoughts on Hassan Piker and how he is reacting to this situation in general. I'm honestly very curious about it. However, we are going to move on to our next story today. So for our next story, we're going to be talking about Aiden Ross. So recently, Aiden Ross appeared on a IRL streamer that goes by the name of Blue Stream. On this stream, Aiden Ross was challenged to take a drug test because he was being accused of being on lean. So Aiden accepts the challenge. They go to a drugstore. He buys the drug test and he takes the test. And as the results come in, Aiden suspiciously disappears. However, he does reappear to claim that the test was negative. Do we ever see the results of the test? No, we don't. However, this has some people questioning the fact on if Aiden's test was actually negative or not. Because in the past, Aiden has been accused of doing drugs, even to the point where his own mother asked him to take a drug test. However, I want to show you guys the clip, and I want you guys to come up with your own decision yourself. Here's the clip. Fuck the time wants to drug test me. Right now for what? He thinks I'm on lean. <laughs> on lean? Oh, no, I'm, I'm gonna pass it on stream. Right now? Yes. If I was on lean, I'd be lazy and if I was on You'd coke. If I was on coke, I would show signs of coke. You do be showing signs of coke. You know what you're doing? <laughs> 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 and that's why I was like, I ain't gonna lie. I was like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, what you think of it? What's your final prediction? Man, that gut got some lean in it. Aiden ain't clear yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to come out right on this right here. Wait 10 minutes. You gotta wait 10 minutes. Put him on the light. Take that shit to your room. Hey, hey, chat, man. The drug test, man. That shit, hey. Where'd he go? I don't even know, bro. Oh, it's right there. Of course he's a fucking dick. <laughs> Negative? Alright, uh, yeah. Bro, what I, I look like showing another man piss on stream, bro? What y'all thinking, bro? What y'all thinking, bro? I just gotta be careful, bro. That's so as you can see from that clip, Aiden does the test, he disappears for a little bit, which is what some people find suspicious. And then off the camera, he claims that the test is negative. Now, this has raised some eyebrows from some folks because they actually don't believe Aiden. And the fact that we don't see any proof of the drug test also has some people question it if it's actually negative or not. Now, this is all just gossip. There's no confirmation on any of this. But I want to know your guys' feelings about this. And if you actually think Aiden does do drugs or if he is on drugs on his streams... I'm kind of curious on what you guys think. My personal opinion is I don't think he is, to be honest, because he is kind of light, right? If you're on lean, you are going to kind of be lazy. If you're on coke, you're going to be high strung. And Aiden just kind of seems like Aiden in this clip. But I could be wrong. I'm not an expert. But I want to know what you guys think about the situation. And let us move on to our final story of the night. So for our final story of the night, we're going to be talking about IRL streamer, Counter-Strike player, professional e-girl, OnlyFans star, Kyra Kitty. So recently, Kyra Kitty was streaming IRL where she was attacked by a suspicious woman who pelted eggs at her. Let's play that clip. What the fuck is wrong with you? Ah! Ah! Don't you want to go? What the fuck? What do you want to say? You want to go? Don't you want to go? Go! You're a sick thing! You're a sick thing! What the fuck? What is that? I mean, dude, this is the life of being only fans. This is the only fans you're talking about. What the fuck? I want to cry. What the hell is this? Jenna. Uh, uh, uh. What the hell? Guys, I wish you... Okay, this is insane. This is insane. My... Oh my god, this is insane. Cool. So as you can see from that situation, Cairo is kind of IRL streaming. This individual walks up to her, starts yelling at her, throws eggs at her. Cairo is generally shocked by it, saying you're crazy, and then kind of like, oh my god, why is this happening? And then moves on with her stream. Now, this was assault. Someone coming up to you, throwing eggs on you on the street is assault, and she had this on film. Now, police have started to question this situation, 
And then after a little investigating, they found out that that individual was actually a man wearing a wig who was a 32-year-old resident of Singapore. Now, this has caused a lot of backlash because, one, this could lead to legal ramifications for Kyra as well. But also, it's kind of put in this bad narrative on IRL streamers claiming that they'll do whatever for views and interactions. And we've seen it so many times where cops get involved with these IRL streamers through basically doxing, swatting, showing up to parties, and all these other sort of things. And it's starting to really paint a bad name for IRL streamers. And some people are generally worried that some laws might actually begin to be passed against people from streaming in public. Now, I want to know what your thoughts are on this situation. Do you guys think this is kind of like a nothing burger and that like she didn't do anything wrong? Or do you think she should be held accountable to the legal system of her region? Or do you think this guy, this might lead to kind of like a snowball effect with more and more of these situations occurring with law enforcement and streamers? I'm generally curious. I mean, she faked an egg attack and whatever, like she might get a fine or whatever, who cares? But I'm generally curious on if you guys think this is going to lead to more issues regarding IRL streamers. Because we had, like, Ice Poseidon getting arrested on a stream recently. We have all the Jack Dorhey stuff going on at his house with law enforcement. So I'm generally just kind of curious on what you guys think about IRL streamers. And if we could arguably see possibly some laws getting put in place with all these recent issues with law enforcement. Let me know in the comments down below. And once again, thank you so much for watching today's video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And comment down below your opinions of the stories we commented or talked about today. I'm generally curious in your opinions. And I promise you the audio will be fixed for this video. Anyways, I will see you later. Bye.